ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੋਸਟ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਟੀਮ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਵਿਖੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਹਿਲ ਦੀ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਟੌਪ ਲਾ ਮੇਕਰਸ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਮੈਨ ਵਿਮਨ ਸੈਨੇਟਰਸ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਦੇ ਫੈਸਲੇ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਐ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਧਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਨ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਅਰੇਂਜਮੈਂਟਸ ਪ੍ਰਬੰਧ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਛਲੇ 250 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਦੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਤੈਅ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਾਂਗੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੈਅ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕੋਈ ਆਰਡਨਰੀ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੰਨੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੀ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਜੂਨ ਦੇ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਮਾਨ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਬਟ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੀ 250 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਦੀ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿਰਫ ਦੂਜੀ ਵਾਰ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਦੀ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਹੀ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਨੇ ਆਪ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਫੈਸਲੇ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਵੋਟਸ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੂਨ ਦਾ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਕਵਕ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਮਨ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਥੇਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਪੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਐ ਸ਼ਰਧਾਂਜਲੀ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਐ ਉਸ ਯਾਦ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਹਲੇ ਵੀ ਕਾਇਮ ਰੱਖ ਰਹੀ ਐ ਬਟ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਐ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਯਾਦ ਸਿਰਫ ਚਰਚਾ ਇਨਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਲਵਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਕਿਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲੀ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਸ ਜੈਨੋਸਾਈਡ ਦੀ ਰੈਕਗਨੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਸਿਟੀਜ਼ਨ ਲਈ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਹੈਗੀ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਾਕਸ ਅਤੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੋਆਰਡੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਈਸਟ ਕੋਸਟ ਦੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈਗੀ ਵਕਵਕ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਕਵਕ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਝ ਦਿਖਾਣ ਲਈ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਕ-ਵਕ ਮਸਲੇ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਹੋਣ ਇੱਕ ਮਸਲਾ ਮਹੱਤਵਪੂਰਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਐਨ ਅੱਜ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ 40 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ 1984 ਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਆਂ ਇਹ ਪੁੱਛਦੇ ਆਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੌਮ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਣਾ ਲਏ ਵਕ-ਵਕ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਵੱਡੀ-ਵੱਡੀ ਸ਼ਹਿਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਕਮਾ ਲਿਆ ਤਰੱਕੀਆਂ ਪਾ ਲੀਆਂ ਨਵੇਂ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਸਾ ਲਏ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਮੁੱਦਾ 1984 ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਲਿੱਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਇਕੱਠਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੁੱਠ ਜੋੜ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੀ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਹਿਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਵੀ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਨ ਕਾਂਗਰਸਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿ
ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਰਾਜਧਾਨੀ ਦਾ ਗੜ ਉੱਥੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚਿਆ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਹਿਲ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿਖਾ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਦੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਤੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇਸ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੀ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਲਓ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਟਜੀ ਵੋਟਿੰਗ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਉੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਥੇਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜੂਨ ਦਾ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਕ ਵਕ ਈਸਟ ਕੋਸਟ ਵੈਸਟ ਕੋਸਟ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੁਮਾਇੰਦੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਾਕਸ ਸਿੱਖ ਈਸਟ ਕੋਸਟ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੋਆਰਡੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਈਸਟ ਕੋਸਟ ਤੇ ਵਕ ਵਕ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਹਨ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਜ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੁਲਾਓ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮੌਕਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਦੀ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਹਿਲ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਦਿਖਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਈ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਥੇਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਲਈ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਹੋ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਯੂਕੇ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਜਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਅਹਿਮੀਅਤ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਹੋਈ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਚਰਚਾ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਕਿ 2001 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਰੂਪ ਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਟੈਰਰਿਸਟ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਮਾਨ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਦਿਲੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਮਨ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ 1984 ਦਾ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰੈਂਸ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਖੜੇ ਹਾਂ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਨੈਵਰ ਫਰਗੈਟ 1984 ਸੋ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੀ ਕਿ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪ੍ਰਿਤਪਾਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਾਕਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਸ਼ੀਅਨਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਰਲ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੀੜਾ ਬਾਰੇ ਐਜੂਕੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਟ ਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟਲੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਹ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਦੋ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਸੀਗਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਅਦਾਰੇ ਦਾ ਤਹਿ ਦਿਲ ਤੋਂ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਿ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਪੰਥਕ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਦਿਨ ਦੀ ਮਹੱਤਤਾ ਬਾਰੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਟੀਮ ਵਰਕ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਹਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਹਿੰਮਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਯਾਦਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਲੰਬੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਟੀਮ ਵਰਕ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਸੰਸਥਾਵਾਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਪਰ ਪੰਥਕ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਸੀ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਾਕਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਸਹਿ
give their precious time to this community, but to express condolences on what the community suffered 40 years ago, have suffered since, and how we can, as an American people, come together to make it better. Well, I am grateful for the opportunity to work with the American Sikh community on behalf of Sikhs globally, recognizing the importance of religious freedom practiced mm -hmm. anywhere in the world, that which we enjoy in the United States. Uh, we want to be respected globally, uh, and particularly in India. Uh, it is remarkable. But what began some number of years ago is now taking uh, place on its own momentum. It is not lost that we had leaders from the highest levels of both the, the majority whip and the minority whip, both Tom Emmer and Kathy Clark, uh, spending time with the Sikhs coming to speak to uh, the collected groups, uh, having a uh, prayer service yesterday that was well attended and discussed many of the issues in greater depth with representatives from a cross spectrum of other religious faiths. Mm -hmm. uh, and today, for only the second time in the history, the 200 year history of the uh, United States House of Representatives, we had a Sikh priest say the opening prayer during June on the 40th anniversary of the massacre at the Golden Temple. And that is not lost. I want to close by saying that it is an ongoing process mm -hmm. and the week began, the Sikhs have been on the hill for four days now. Mm -hmm. And it began four, three days ago when the young Sikh Americans fanned out and visited congressional offices all across the United, the House and the Senate, mm -hmm. educating mm -hmm. members of Congress who have yet to see the full scope of uh, not only the history, uh, both long-term uh, and recent, uh, but the opportunity for us all to focus together on behalf of uh, religious freedom globally and particularly for the Sikh community. So it's been a, it's been a tremendous week, a very important week and a memorable week 40 years, let us not forget. Once again, Congressman Pat Meehan, friend, ally, steward of the Sikh community when it comes to congressional championship. Harjinder Singh Ji, I would like to see you in this effort that is coming out of your mind. Of course, you will have all the comments that are coming out of the program. It will be two days of the program. It didn't start at Capitol Hill, right? This effort, this hard work, American Sikh Caucus, Sikh Coordination Committee, East Coast, that this effort Capitol Hill tak itini shuruhui. It started at the local level in the state houses. Can you talk to us about the various states jina de vich unni the genocide bill nu lake mate pas kite gaye han? Yeah, thank you, Ashmita. <laughs> to answer your question, it's a long process. I think for me and my younger brother, which I consider Pai Jagraj Singh. It started about 10 years back in New Jersey and in Pennsylvania. Our first issue was to tell people who we are. And we walked into Steve Sweeney's office, who was the Senate president at that time in New Jersey, and he didn't know anything about Sikhs. And six of us walked in, and uh, he was very happy to see us, and he had a blank face say, what can I do for you? I, we told them a little bit about Sikhism and told him that since September 11, when Sikhs walk on the streets, they call us Osama, they yell at us. Can we, can, what, he said, what can I do for you? I said, look, we want that New Jersey recognizes a Sikh day to recognize Sikhism. So we, he drafted some language for a bill, which later on became a law in New Jersey to declare Vesakhi, the Khalsa Srijana Devas, as Sikh Day, April 14th, is a law in New Jersey, which is signed by, which was passed by both legislatures, and then signed by Phil Murphy as an evergreen law. Not only that, also the April month was called Sikh Appreciation Month, it was also made a law in New Jersey. So that was the first step. 
Then once we had some recognition established, we moved the next step. Our next step was we had 550th anniversary of Guru Nanak coming up when the Kartarpur corridor opened. We invited the governor of New Jersey through the efforts of Senate President Steve Sweeney. And we have 5,000 people in Kartarpur Gurdwara. And most of the New Jersey cabinet was there, you guys were there. So I think that's the way it progressed. Then it progressed into that the genocide which happened to six in 1984. And that also got through New Jersey Senate and was approved and recognized as New Jersey. And, and that it, this violence, which they call anti-Sikh rights, was condemned as, Sikh, as a Sikh genocide. And now we have introduced a bill stepping up a notch in the U.S. Congress. You saw Mary Gay Skellum, she came over. She introduced a bill in last Congress <coughs> to declare April 14th on the same lines as uh, National Sikh Day. So that is still in the works. So we are keep on working on it. And to come here on this important occasion, we had a lot of hurdles which were smoothed out by the work we have done and especially with the support of my friend, Pat Pehan. And because with his connections, I think we got access to places where we could not get to. So thank you very much, Pat, for that. And so I hope I answered your question and uh, we'll make further progress and we'll go and see what we can achieve in the next few years. Thank you so much, Hajinder Singh Ji, Congressman. Of course, American Sikh Caucus at the Sikh East Coast Coordination Committee, they started in the work work Gurdwara, they ate the leadership on Jay Unanu Sitan Vadkar, they are Madashikanu Dasna Chani, Jis or Das Das Zikar Hoya, Odi Vijalak Tonu the Kavange, United States history, they witch. Sikhan di ardaas, sirf ehe dujji war ho rea hai, but ethe di history de vich ek baut rare ate significant moment hai ga. Ode jhalak to anu dikha wange, ate jo wak wak congressmen and women jina ne shimuliyat kiti, na ke sirf Sikh community nyo recognize kita, appreciate kita, but Sikh community de naal, chali saal na pehle, jo tragedy hoi si, उन्हों रेकग्नाइज किया कि यह ट्रेजेडी ना कि सिर्फ कोई राइट्स कोई प्रोग्राम सी के यह ट्रेजेडी एक जेनोसाइड तो उस चीज़ नो ऐसी याद कर दें या उस चीज़ ले हले भी कम्युनिटी जस्टिस सीख कर दिया इन सारे चीज़ अंदर झलक तो उन दिखावेंगे लेट अस प्रे वन यूनिवर्सल क्रिएटर गॉड बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ द ट्रू गुरु Almighty God, Vaheguru, we call you by many names, but you are one. Keep your divine hand over the members of this house as they steer our nation's future. Keep truth on our tongues, love in our hearts, and sound judgment in our minds. Remind us of our purpose to love, serve, and create a peaceful world. Bless all leaders working for the common good. Give those who govern humility, courage, integrity, and compassion. Release us from ego so we serve selflessly. Help us remember we belong to one family. Recognize the entire human race as one. You are everywhere. All are yours. Whatever is seen is your form. You are one. Watch over our protectors, ensuring our safety and freedom. Homage to worldwide martyrs who fought for liberty, justice, and equality. In the name of Nanak, find everlasting optimism by your, with your will, Almighty God, may there be grace for all humanity. Pranam, Sumu Shahidanu, Vahi Guruji ka Khalsa, Vahi Guruji ki Fateh.
Thank you very much for joining us today. Today is not an ordinary day. It's a very special day because we are commemorating those who given their life, those who have faced atrocities, those who have been victim of genocide. Um, Madam Under Secretary General, I'm personally indebted to you, uh, despite of your hectic schedule in the UN, because UN is very, very busy at the moment, what's happening in the world. But this is your commitment to our community and the people who have been oppressed and marginalized that you uh, accepted our invitation and graced the occasion today. Um, all of us know why we are here today. We are here in these most troublesome times to come together, to pray. I was talking to um, Madam Under Secretary General on the way. We always talk about common humanity and Sikhi believe in one common being, one supreme being, and everything is one. But I find it very strange. If it is one God, one humanity, why the pain of humanity is not one for all of us? When it comes to atrocity crimes, why we don't shoulder with others? Why don't we sympathize who have been oppressed? Imagine, I mean, there are only a few Muslims, including myself, in the room and quite a few Christians here. Imagine if holy site of Makkah, Kaaba, was surrendered by 15, uh, sorry, about 150,000 army personnel. Oh, Vatican had a big army standing outside and bombarding the Mecca, Kaaba, or Vatican City. Imagine if these places had no access of press. Imagine if you had all those pilgrims there, for example, on Hajj, or gathered in Karbala on certain days, and they were brutally massacred. That's what happened to the Sikhs 40 years ago. On a very specific day, then when they were there at their holiest shrine, Siddhi Darbar Sahib in Amritsar, to commemorate the martyrdom of their fifth master, Guru Arjun Dev, a prime minister ordered that that very revered holy place of Sikhism, which is heart of Sikhism, should be raised to ground with tanks, with army, and all the lines of telephones were cut, media had no access. And that was the start of Sikh genocide, 1984, which lasted for another decade, 1984 to 1995. And that trauma goes on. All these young people sitting there, this trauma started from a generation before us, people like Dr. Pritpal, Raj Singh, Yad Binder Singh, these guys are that uh, people who are directly affected. And then this generation, there is no closure. So why we are here today to remember all those. I would like to begin by thanking you, thanking Dr. Pritva, thanking all the Congress members um, who we've seen here today and who continue supporting the, the Sikh caucus. And, and most importantly to you again, Dr. Iktidar and, and Dr. Pritpal for inviting me to speak at this interfaith prayer service at the United States House of Representatives. And it is an honor for me to brief members of, uh, of, of this group again for the second time in the past six months. I was last here in February 2024. And the brief then was focused on transnational repression. So today I'm honored to be part of an interview prayer for peace and to honor the victims of violence. We know that this topic is very timely. Violence has always been with us. It continues to spike around the world and results in growing pain and suffering of innocent people. And in this context, we also see the Charter of the United Nations Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law and the 1948 Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide being blatantly disregarded. So I cannot hide my deepest concern, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot but tell you how many sleepless nights I spend when I see all these rights and dignity being stepped on every single day in front of our eyes. 
And of course, I do understand that the capacity for impunity is built on what happened in the past for which people were not held accountable. So today we see it in the press, we see it in TV, we see it in social media, and the world is really drifting in, so is humanity. So I especially witness uh, this with a very heavy heart because of the position that I hold as a United Nations Special Advisor on the Prevention of Genocide. We owe it to the victims, but also to the younger generations to ensure a more peaceful, inclusive, and just future where diversity is an asset and genocide is not an option. Thank you very much again for having us here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, distinguished guests, Madam Under Secretary, Ms. Miller. Thank you for not only your touching remarks, um, but genuine remarks. And I think I was asked to speak about the genocide 40 years ago, um, but my spirit, spiritual nature, my philosophy on how we were raised and how we are rooted asks me not to just talk about us. It's, it, this is a universal, it's a human truth. So in, in practice, I am a child psychiatrist and by profession, not only did I learn about the human body and the human brain, but also the interactions of the human mind and thought um, experience and how that belief systems, how that generates our thoughts, feelings, and actions. So I get to experience that on a visceral level every day as I see kids who have not only suffered in trauma uh, in various forms, some have traveled across the world to seek sanctuary here, but I am also one of them. Um, personally, um, <clears throat> Experiencing that trauma um, through myself as a child, as coming to seek refuge here in this country, as well as, you know, our family, my parents. They left their own, uh, their physicians left their practice serving people there, as I do here, to come make a safer, better place for us here. <laughs> Amma Abad Fawz Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Ya Ayuhal Lazina Amarud Khuroof Silmi Kaafah Wala Tattabiyu Khutuwaat Shaitan Inna Hu Lakum Adubu Mubin The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight or the blind. Ya ayyuhal nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa jahalnakum shu'uban wa qabaila li ta'arafu. Namu tas bhagavatu arhatu samma sambuddhas bhavatu sab mangalang rakhantu sab devata. Since thou hast guided them, O my Lord, unto the living waters of thy grace, Grant by thy bounty that they may not be kept back from thee. And since thou hast summoned them to the habitation of thy throne, drive them not out from thy presence through thy loving kindness. So today, Akal, I'm very happy to be here with everybody. I'm very close to the Sikh community in New York. Uh, I'm very happy to be with you briefly, just to send my regards from Glen Cove, New York, where when I was the mayor of Glen Cove in 1995, we opened a gudwara in Glen Cove. And I had a long relationship with the Sikh community. I love the fact that the Sikhs believe so much in equality and the idea that we're all equal as human beings. So thank you so much. What a pleasure to be with all of you. And a special thanks to Dr. Singh and the American Sikh Caucus uh, Committee and to my colleagues, Mary Gay Scanlon from Pennsylvania and David Valadeo from California, our co-chairs, for bringing so many of us together today. As we mark 40 years since the atrocious assault on the Golden Temple, we are making clear that Congress's support of this community remains unwavering and bipartisan. The American experiment is built on a premise of religious freedom. 
And some of our darkest chapters were written when we strayed from that foundation. And some of our greatest triumphs were forged when we marched closer to fully realizing it. But that project is still incomplete. The forces of religious oppression are as brazen as ever. The enemies of religious freedom are no longer constrained by national borders. The campaign to silence and terrorize this community is not a regional problem. These assaults on political opposition are not contained to any one country. This is a global threat. And as we have so painfully learned, that threat exists here on American soil. So it will take courage to stand up to that kind of repression. It takes unimaginable resilience to carry on the fight that you have all fought for so many years. So I want to thank you, and on behalf of the Democratic Caucus, thank you for speaking out Thank you for mobilizing and organizing. History is with you. We are with you. I am proud to be your partner in building a kinder and repression-free future where this sort of bigoted violence is a distant relic of the past. And I want to thank you for your partnership, for all you do, for not only your own communities, but for all of our communities. And really the model that you present about how to be inclusive and leading with love and seeing the divinity within each other. Honored to be here with the American Sick Caucus Com Committee for the Interfaith Prayer Service for Global Peace. When I first came to Congress, I quickly realized that many of my colleagues did not understand the sick community or the challenges that sick Americans faced. Even years after 9-11, many Sikhs across America were facing bullying and even racially motivated violence. That is why in 2013, I decided to establish the bipartisan American Sikh Congressional Caucus along with my Republican colleague, Representative David Valadeo. We founded this caucus to give sick Americans a voice in Congress to ensure that our nation could understand the beauty of the Sikh religion and to celebrate the great accomplishments of Sikh Americans, including Congressman Dilip Singh Sound, who was the first Asian, Indian, and Sikh American to ever serve in Congress. And Yes, um, you are right. There was resistance from some yes. to forming this caucus, yes. but we did prevail. And the fact that you are all here today continuing to raise your voices shows how important it was to make sure that this caucus remains uh, intact and active. So it tells, it, you know, what we see is that people are learning more about the great sick traditions. And in fact, now there's an annual lunger and uh, there is uh, a uh, pride for us to see that there are Sikh American events taking place right here in the U.S. Capitol more than 10 years after this caucus was founded. And it's especially important because the challenges facing the Sikh community persist. In fact, FBI data released last October found that religiously motivated hate crimes were at their highest since 2001, with an increase of 17% since 2021. And six remain the second most targeted group in the nation for religiously motivated hate crime incidents. So thank you again for hosting this very, very important interfaith prayer service and for honoring the victims of violence. I am proud to stand with you and I look forward to continuing our work together. As a member of the Congressional American Sikh Caucus, um, I just want all of you and others of the religious groups that are represented here today to know that I, and I think those of us who feel this way, stand up for your freedom, your freedom of pursuit of happiness, your freedom of religion, of your choice to escape persecution, because it is a human right. 
Um, and this dialogue that you are having this afternoon uh, and coordinating this dialogue and where you take it from here is so important because we are, I think, partners in this effort. Uh, this dialogue and your efforts to remind us to do what is right is so important. You see the pictures behind me of Akal Takht, which was established by Guru Hargobin as a seat of Sikh sovereignty, sub Sikh sovereignty. And when Indira Gandhi troops, the particular point of attack was Akal Takht to kill the aspirations of Sikhs of Sikh sovereignty. You see this picture, how they brought in tanks with a mortar fire, they demolished the whole building. And right behind me, the picture of Golden Temple, Darbar Sahib, which was founded by Guru Arjun. And you see that all the smoke and the fires, and there were bullets fired in our holy scripture, Guru Granth Sahib, which you can even see when the, this is just, just, just displayed every June of <clears throat> every year since 84. So what I'm saying is to, the Sikhs have sprung back, Sikh will not be crushed, Sikh will ask and achieve sovereignty. I know that this is a special and solemn month for the Sikh community, not just in my uh, district in Philadelphia or in the Philadelphia area, but really all throughout the United States and all throughout the world. Uh, the Sikh community is an important part of what makes the United States special. We are a nation of immigrants. So um, it's always a, a special for me to welcome such a proud community of Americans here to the United States Capitol. I've spoken out many times on behalf of your community, uh, which unfortunately has come under uh, recent attack in a most shameful way. I will continue speaking out because it is simply the right thing to do. So welcome. I know we have votes coming up in a couple minutes. And I see, I think we've been joined by my uh, Republican colleague. Um, I will leave it to Pat to, to introduce him. He and I were together just uh, last week in Normandy, celebrating the 80th anniversary of the beginning of the liberation of Europe and the defeat of the Nazi regime. It was very special, not to speak for Tom, but I, I'm sure he'll agree. It was very special for us to be there, especially with a number of D-Day veterans who themselves are about 100 years old. Thank you so much. And it is so wonderful, as always, to have our friends here in the Capitol. Um, I think it's been a big week. I've seen a number of younger people mm -hmm. here this week, ran into them in the cafeteria. But um, it, you're so important in our community, both entrepreneurially, your um, mission of peace in the world, um, and just all the things you do for our community. I know we've, we've had a lot of contact over the last few years through all the disruption, and we know how important you were to helping our, many of, our, of those in our community survive the COVID pandemic, keeping our, our folks fed. Um, so we're so grateful for everything you do and, and very eager to continue pressing that support here on the Hill. So thank you for everything you do in our community, for keeping us apprised of the issues that are impacting um, folks across the country, across the world. And we look forward to continuing that work together. So thank you. It's, it's a grateful day and it's a sad day. Grateful that this is a second time now that a prayer was offered and that's remarkable given the history of our country. But the one value our country was founded on is freedom of religion, whatever it is. And certainly that was on display today. But we're here because of that attack on the Golden Temple, which we can never forget. Because in many ways, that set the tone for years after that to create more attacks around the world. And we need to remember that instead of fighting the difference between us, we should be celebrating it and talking about our beliefs, our values, and what we care about. And it's not just in the religious community, it's all across America. You know, it seems today that you're either on that side or that side and there's no middle. 
Well, certainly what we should all easily be able to agree upon is no violence. And that's still an issue, and you know it better than anybody. So on behalf of the Grateful Nation, and Pat, may it be great to see you again, Harjinder and all of you, God bless you, and may God keep our country safe. To those who are watching, please know that the investment and opportunity that each of you are making by not only being here today, but also taking time to have the faith of confidence uh, in your community and your leaders who are attempting to make sure that the transition, not only that you're making to the United States, but the contribution is well recognized, is not only recognized uh, as important to the development of this nation, but also to each of those people who've come to this country where you now call home. Congressman Meehan and I have for a number of years felt the need and the obligation to make sure that we welcome those who have not only come to the United States, but to make sure that their contributions as new Americans is recognized and that it is you are welcome within not just our country, but the ideas that roam. Your decision to come and to participate at Washington, in Washington, D.C. at the highest levels of Article I, which is the United States House of Representatives, is significant. And it's significant because Congressman Meehan and I believe that the story that's to be told is one of enrichment and opportunity, but also fairness. And we have uh, 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 understood for quite some time that, that the newest Americans, as you are, need an opportunity to tell your story also, a fairness and opportunity. So what a delight it is for me to be with you once again. And I hope that each of you find that today's presentation on the floor would be one of openness on behalf of not just the United States Congress, but your participation that would be acknowledged for what it is. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I am so honored to be with you today. And I must tell you, you look extremely stately. You look courtly, you look royal. And I could not resist taking the picture, to be very <laughs> honest. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my colleague for giving me just this moment. I regret that I have to rush away. I'm supposed to be across the street at another meeting. But I want you to know that in this country, you are more than welcome. We want you to feel at home. Uh, this country is a better country because you're here. America the beautiful is a more beautiful America because of the tapestry that we have of various uh, ethnicities, uh, various communities, and yours is a part of that tapestry. So thank you so much, and I greatly appreciate you affording me this opportunity thank to you. say just a word. Thank you. It, it, it's an honor for me to be a part of this. It truly is, and it, it was not a, a difficult question to answer at Pat's request to be the host of my new brother from Yakima <laughs> um, uh, and to be a part of this. Uh, I truly think this is a significant day. It really is. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I admittedly know very little about the Sikh religion. What uh, Our conversation earlier today has opened my eyes to a, a new world. And that the, 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 the realization that we are all children of one God mm. and that together we can do tremendous things. And to have you here uh, to help us understand the things that are important to you, we realize that they are the same things that are important to us. Mm. And so I want to thank you for helping open our eyes, and I think that will lead to a much greater understanding and acceptance of, for everyone. Yeah. So this is a significant day. The importance of the 40th anniversary of the attack on the Golden Temple is, is uh, rightfully so. We should observe this day. And I, I just can't tell you how much of an honor it is for me to be a part of this. So thank you very much, and I uh, appreciate so much everything that you're trying to do for all of my, mankind. Thank you. Waheguru Ji ka khalsa, Waheguru Ji ki phate, sab to pehla, main tae dilon tanwaad karna chauna, Sardar Hajadnar Singh, Pai Jagraj Singh, jede ke hemesha hi, saadhe to dhuri rende, pichhe ho jande ya, te saadhi ek jis tarah Paji Harjinder Singh ne dasya, ke saadhi team hai, ek kise kalle bande da kama nahi, Sardar Hemad Singh, jede ke hemesha hi, 
ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿ ਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੂਰੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਹਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਰਾਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਅਤੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਯੂਥ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਯਾਦਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਡੀ ਇੱਕ ਟੀਮ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਿਛਲੇ 8-10 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਅਖੀਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਭਰਾਵਾਂ ਦਾ ਤਹਿ ਦਿਲ ਤੋਂ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਟੀਮ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜਾਂ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਜਿਨਾ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਕੰਮਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਨੇੜਿਓਂ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਸੌਖਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੌਸਲਾ ਵਧਾਇਆ ਤੈ ਦਿਲ ਤੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਸ਼ੀਰਵਾਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਹ ਅਸ਼ੀਰਵਾਦ ਇਹ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੱਖੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਯਕੀਨ ਦਵਾਉਨੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਵੱਧ ਚੜ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਹਰਜਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਹਮਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਚੱਠਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਰਾਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਟੀਮ ਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਤਹਿ ਦਿਲ ਤੋਂ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ they always kashiwa from just punjabi whenever we request them just punjabi is a channel okay which has the worldwide access just punjabi who has come all the way from north jersey and new york city and california i want to say my deepest thanks to just punjabi one thing i want to say is main twitter te kafi active ha the most common popular hashtag on twitter is never forget pound never forget 1984 so six will never forget 84 wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki